Welcome to Vietnam, an eight-day adventure awaits. Get ready for an amazing journey through Vietnam. This eight-day trip will take you from north to south. You'll see bustling cities, quiet beaches, and everything in between. Vietnam is a country full of surprises. It's a place where old and new come together in exciting ways. Our adventure starts in Hanoi, the capital city. Here you'll see ancient temples next to modern buildings. Then we'll cruise through the stunning Halong Bay. Its limestone islands will take your breath away. Next we'll head to Hoi An, a charming old town frozen in time. After that we'll explore the imperial city of Hue. Our trip ends in Saigon, also known as Ho Chi Minh City. This bustling city is full of energy and history. Along the way we'll try delicious food, meet friendly locals and make unforgettable memories. Vietnam's rich culture and beautiful landscapes will amaze you at every turn. This trip is perfect for anyone who loves adventure, history, and new experiences. Whether you're a solo traveler, a couple, or a family, Vietnam has something for everyone. Get ready to explore ancient temples, cruise emerald waters, and walk through colorful markets. By the end of this journey, you'll have fallen in love with Vietnam. Let's start our unforgettable adventure. Welcome to Hanoi. After you land and check into your hotel, it's time to explore. Our first stop is Huan Kiem Lake. This beautiful lake is right in the heart of the city. It's a great place to relax and watch local life. You might see people doing Tai Chi or playing chess by the water. Next, we'll visit Ngok Son Temple. This small temple sits on an island in the lake. To get there, we'll cross the bright red Huck Bridge. The temple is dedicated to a famous general. Inside, you'll see ancient artifacts and learn about Vietnamese history. It's a peaceful spot in the busy city. Now, let's dive into the old quarter. This is the heart of Hanoi's old town. The streets here are narrow and full of life. Each street is named after what was traditionally sold there. You'll see streets full of silver, silk, or even bamboo goods. It's like stepping back in time. As we walk, keep an eye out for street food vendors. Hanoi is famous for its delicious street food. Try some pho, Vietnam's famous noodle soup, or maybe some banh mi, a tasty sandwich. For dinner, we'll go to a local restaurant. Here, you can try more Vietnamese dishes. End your night with a stroll around the lake. The lights reflecting on the water are beautiful. What a perfect way to start our Vietnam adventure. Rise and shine. Today, we're diving deep into Hanoi's rich history. Our first stop is the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. This is where Vietnam's revolutionary leader rests. The building is grand and solemn. Remember to dress respectfully. It's a place of great importance to Vietnamese people. Next door is the Presidential Palace. Its yellow walls stand out against the green gardens. Now, let's head to the Temple of Literature. This is Vietnam's first national university. It was built in 1070. The temple grounds are peaceful and beautiful. You'll see ancient courtyards, pavilions and statues. It's a great place to learn about Vietnam's love for education and literature. Take your time to explore and enjoy the calm atmosphere. After lunch, we'll visit the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. This museum is all about Vietnam's different ethnic groups. You'll see traditional houses, clothes and tools. It's like taking a trip across the whole country in one afternoon. The outdoor exhibit is especially fun. You can walk through full-size replicas of traditional homes. To end our day, we're in for a special treat, a water puppet show. This is a unique Vietnamese art form. Puppeteers stand in waist-deep water behind a screen. They use long poles to move wooden puppets on the water's surface. The shows tell old folk tales and legends. The music and singing are live. It's colorful, fun, and totally unique to Vietnam. After the show, enjoy dinner at a local restaurant. Try some more Vietnamese specialties. What a day full of culture and history. Today, we're off to one of Vietnam's most famous sites, Halong Bay. We'll leave Hanoi early in the morning. The drive takes about four hours, but the views are worth it. Watch as the busy city turns into green countryside. Soon, you'll see the first glimpses of the bay. It's a breathtaking sight. Halong Bay is famous for its emerald waters and thousands of limestone islands. As we board our cruise ship, you'll feel the excitement in the air. The ship will be our home for the night. Enjoy a delicious lunch as we sail into the bay. The crew will point out interesting rock formations. Each island seems to have its own shape and story. In the afternoon, we'll stop to explore a cave. These caves are hidden inside the islands. They're full of stalactites and stalagmites. It's like entering a secret world. After the cave, you have some choices. You can go kayaking in the calm waters or maybe take a swim at a quiet beach. If you prefer, just relax on the deck and enjoy the view. 
As the sun sets, our ship will anchor for the night. The sunset over Halong Bay is unforgettable. The sky turns orange and pink, reflecting on the calm water. After dinner, try your hand at squid fishing or just sit on the deck and stargaze. The night sky here is amazing. You might even see bioluminescent plankton in the water. It's like floating in a sea of stars. Fall asleep to the gentle rocking of the boat, surrounded by the magic of Halong Bay. Section 5, Day 4, Hoi An, A Step Back in Time. Wake up early to catch the sunrise over Halong Bay. It's a magical sight. After breakfast, we'll cruise back to the harbour. Say goodbye to Halong Bay as we head to the airport. We're flying to Da Nang, then driving to Hoi An. This ancient town is like a living museum. It's one of Vietnam's most charming places. As we enter Hoi An, you'll notice the change right away. The buildings are old and colourful. Lanterns hang across the streets. It feels like stepping back in time. Our first stop is the Chua Kao, or Japanese Covered Bridge. This bridge was built in the 1590s. It's a symbol of Hoi An. The bridge connects the Japanese and Chinese quarters of the old town. Next, we'll visit the assembly hall of the Fujian Chinese Congregation. This building is over 300 years old. It's full of colorful decorations and intricate carvings. Look for the giant incense coils hanging from the ceiling. These can burn for weeks. As we walk, you'll see many old merchant houses. Hoi An was once an important trading port. These houses show the town's rich history. In the evening, we'll take a stroll along the Tubon River. The riverfront comes alive at night. Colorful lanterns reflect on the water. Street vendors sell snacks and souvenirs. You might see people releasing paper lanterns on the river. It's a beautiful tradition. For dinner, try some local Hoi An specialties. The Kao Lao noodles are famous here. End your night with a walk through the lantern-lit streets. Hoi An at night is truly magical. Section 6, Day 5, Ancient Ruins and Beach Relaxation. Today we're heading to My Son, an ancient Hindu temple complex. We'll leave Hoi An early to beat the heat. My Son was built between the 4th and 14th centuries. It was a spiritual center of the Champa Kingdom. The temples are set in a beautiful jungle valley. As we walk through the ruins, imagine how grand they once were. The Cham people built these temples without mortar. It's amazing they've survived for so long. Our guide will explain the history and significance of my son. You'll see intricate carvings and learn about Cham architecture. The site was damaged during the Vietnam War, but many temples are still standing. It's a peaceful and mysterious place. Take your time to explore and take photos. The jungle setting makes it feel like you're discovering a lost city. After lunch, we'll head back to Hoi An, but our day isn't over yet. This afternoon, we're going to Mbang Beach. This beautiful beach is just a short drive from town. It's the perfect place to relax after our morning of exploring. The sand is soft and white. The water is clear and warm. You can swim, sunbathe, or just walk along the shore. There are beach bars where you can get a cool drink. As the afternoon winds down, we'll return to Hoi An. The evening is yours to enjoy. Maybe you want to do some shopping. Hoi An is famous for its tailors. You can get clothes custom made in just a day or two. Or perhaps you'd like to take a cooking class. Learn how to make Vietnamese spring rolls or pho. If you prefer, just wander the beautiful old streets. Find a cozy restaurant for dinner? Hoi An is magical at night with all its lanterns lit up. Enjoy your free evening in this charming town. Section 7, Day 6, Imperial Wonders of Hue. It's time to say goodbye to Hoi An. Today we're heading to Hue, Vietnam's old imperial capital. The drive takes about three hours, but don't worry, the views are stunning. We'll pass over the High Van Pass. This mountain road offers amazing views of the coast. We might stop for photos if the weather is clear. Once we arrive in Hue, we'll start our tour at the Imperial City. This was the home of Vietnam's last royal dynasty, the Nguyen. The citadel is huge surrounded by thick stone walls. As we enter through the Noon Gate, imagine the grand ceremonies that once took place here. We'll explore the Tai Hoa Palace with its beautiful throne room. Then we'll visit the Forbidden Purple City. This was where the emperor lived with his family. Next, we'll visit the Tian Mu Pagoda. This seven-story pagoda sits on a hill overlooking the Perfume River. It's one of Vietnam's most important Buddhist sites. The pagoda is beautiful, but it also has an interesting history. 
Here you'll learn about Vietnam's Buddhist traditions and some modern history too. In the afternoon, we'll tour some of the imperial tombs. These elaborate tombs were built for the Nguyen emperors. We might visit Tu Duc's tomb or Cai Din's tomb. Each one is like a small palace. They show the wealth and power of the old empire. As the day ends, we'll take a relaxing boat ride on the Perfume River. Watch the sunset over the water. For dinner, try some of Hugh's famous royal cuisine. End your night with a peaceful walk along the river. Hugh's quiet charm is a nice change from busy Hanoi and Hoi An. Section 8, Day 7, Saigon, Vietnam's bustling metropolis. Today we're flying to our final stop, Saigon. This city, also called Ho Chi Minh City, is the biggest in Vietnam. It's a mix of old and new, traditional and modern. As soon as we land, you'll feel the energy of this bustling city. And we'll check into our hotel and start exploring right away. Our first stop is the War Remnants Museum. This museum tells the story of the Vietnam War. It's a powerful and sometimes difficult experience. But it's important to understand this part of Vietnam's history. Next, we'll visit the Notre Dame Cathedral. This beautiful church was built by the French in the 1880s. Right next door is the central post office. It might sound boring, but trust me, it's worth a visit. The building is gorgeous inside and out. In the afternoon, we'll explore some of Saigon's markets. Ben Tham Market is the most famous. It's huge and sells everything you can imagine. Practice your bargaining skills here. We might also visit some of the city's pagodas. These peaceful temples are a nice break from the busy streets. As night falls, it's time to experience Saigon's famous nightlife. We'll head to Bui Vien Street. This is the main backpacker area, full of bars and restaurants. The street comes alive at night. You'll see people from all over the world here. Try some street food, enjoy a cold drink, or just people watch. It's a great place to celebrate our last night in Vietnam. If you're feeling adventurous, you might even try a ride on the back of a motorbike taxi. It's a thrilling way to see the city at night. Section 9, Day 8, Final Moments and Fond Farewells. Our last day in Vietnam has arrived, but don't worry, we still have time for some final adventures. After breakfast, we'll head to Benthan Market one last time. This is your chance to pick up any last-minute souvenirs. Look for Vietnamese coffee, silk scarves or lacquerware. Remember to bargain. It's part of the fun. If you're a coffee lover, we might stop at a local cafe. Vietnamese coffee is famous for a reason. Try it hot or iced with sweetened condensed milk. It's the perfect pick-me-up for our last day. As we walk around, take in the sights and sounds of Saigon one last time. Notice how different it feels from Hanoi where we started. Depending on your flight time, you might have a chance for one last Vietnamese meal. Maybe try some ban cha or ban seo. These dishes are local favorites. Or if you're feeling brave, how about some durian fruit? It's known as the king of fruits, but has a very strong smell. As we head to the airport, think back on all we've seen and done. From the streets of Hanoi to the waters of Halong Bay. From ancient Hoi An to Imperial Hue. And finally, to the modern energy of Saigon. Vietnam is a country of contrasts and surprises. You've experienced so much in just eight days. As you board your flight home, you'll take with you memories that will last a lifetime. Vietnam has a way of capturing your heart. Many travelers find themselves planning their next trip back before they even leave. Section 10 Vietnam, a journey to remember. What an incredible journey we've had through Vietnam. In just eight days, we've traveled from north to south. We've seen bustling cities, peaceful beaches, and everything in between. Vietnam is a country that stays with you long after you leave. Its beauty, its history, and its people make a lasting impression. We started in Hanoi with its mix of old and new. The busy streets of the old quarter showed us daily Vietnamese life. We saw ancient temples and modern buildings side by side. Then came the breathtaking beauty of Halong Bay. Those limestone islands rising from emerald waters are unforgettable. In Hoi An, we stepped back in time. The lantern-lit streets and ancient buildings felt like magic. Yue showed us Vietnam's imperial past. The grand citadel and royal tombs spoke of a time of emperors and dynasties.